He's the kind of camera that actually wants to chop the top of your head off. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Siege of Deluxe Class Refractor! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. In the background, as always, we have some assemblage, Siege War for Cybertron, Transformers, his name is Refractor. On this side of the box, we have that lovely, lovely Siege artwork. On the other side of the box, we have Refractor himself. He is a Deluxe Classic, Classic Deluxe, Classic Deluxe, Classic Deluxe, 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 Deluxe. on the top. Decepticon symbol, Transformers War for Cybertron, on the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. Does this, that, the other things and stuff? Camera warning! Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Refractor, because apparently they lost the rights to Reflector. But here is Refractor, and here he is in his alt mode, and uh, yeah, it's uh, one of those cases of, hey, we made him a ship. A ship-type thing. Okay. Okay, all right, sure. Why not? Dare I say, why not? But let's get in close here so we can take a look. That's uh, so the details. We got the big old cannon right up front here, which does have some nice molded detail. You got some silver right there. And you do have some nice detail going across the top there. You got some nice silver, some nice red. That's nice silver here, some nice metallic green on that. Sculpted detail, got some transparent plastic there as well. Got some camera parts just kind of hanging out the back there, as well as more camera parts hanging out the back right here. Well, that can serve as like a thruster or whatever. I think see his arms just kind of folded up underneath. Decepticon symbol, and there's the bottom, there's the top, the landing skid, and yay! It's a it's it's a it's a it's a flying thing of some kind. And for comparison, here he is with some other flying things. Here he is with the top portion of Skytread. Whoosh. Here he is with Voyager Starscream. Whoosh. Here he is with Voyager Soundwave. Whoosh. And here he is with Leader Class Shockwave. So there you go, and that's pretty much it for the uh, ship, the, the, the spaceship mode. <laughs> but let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> so, first thing you want to do is you want to remove this back section here. It just pegs in, we'll put that off to the side. And we want to start off by untabbing this section right here. Just bring that up, just tab it right in there. And we can just flip this up, and then flip this up. That will make his chest. At this point now, we can take the legs and split them. So we can remove the gun. And we'll put that off to the side. And now we can continue on here. So we'll come back up here. You want to untab his arms from the back. Just tab him right in there. Untab the arm. Bring it forward. And you can flip out his hand, and then rotate the bicep so everything is facing forward. Second verse, just like the first, just untab, bring around, flip out the hands, and rotate the arm. And there you got the arms all done. So now you want to rotate him at the waist. You want to take landing skids here and just fold them in, bring up his toe, and then just rotate his leg at the thigh so everything is facing forward. Second vase, the same as the first. Just bring that around, bring that up, bring that forward, and there you have the legs all done. Hooray for legs. And we take this bit right here, just unplug that, plug that into his belly. And then the last thing we do is we just flip up his head and turn it around. And there you go. There you have Refractor in his robot mode. And he looks quite good in my opinion. Nice and G1-y like every uh, other figure in this line. I do quite 
Take the look of them. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. You can see some nice silver paint there on the face, red for the eyes. Yeah, you got that nice silver going around the chest right there. You can see that metallic green peeking through now. Again, the Decepticon symbol. You got some nice molded detail there going down the arms. A little bit of red there around the forearms. Again, some nice. Molded details going on. You got the silver, the red, some more silver. And move up the back. You can see the landing skids kind of fill out the little hollow spots there. Again, lots of detail going on. Very clean transformation, as you can see. He has no junk hanging off of him. So, pretty good there. Now, articulation wise, he had. Can rotate, you can do a full 360. I can't tell if it's on a ball joint. It looks like it is, but you don't get too much wiggly waggly. It's like a bare minimum of wiggly waggly. I could use a transformation joint to have them looking up and squirrel can totally do that. If you want to, you can look down a little bit too. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. You have a nice full range of movement there. Uh, nothing at the wrist except for downward movements due to transformation. He does have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. You do have full ankle tiltage as well as a toe joint that moves down if you need it to. And of course we can arm him up. We can give him his gun here. So we can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. And as far as this section here, a couple things you can do with it. You have uh, two posts here you can work with. So if you want to, you can plug it into his form. So you can have it as a shield like that. You can angle that how you want. Or you can have him holding it by this post like that. You can hold it like a shield that way. So you have that going on if you want, and the instructions uh, have you plugging it into a shoulder, which, hey, that's a thing you can do also. If you want to do it, hey, totally up to you what you want to do. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. Uh, me, personally, I like to have it plugged into his forearm like that. That's just me. You do whatever you want. Now, as far as uh, effects parts go, of course, you can use the effects parts on this guy. You can put little posts there on his shoulder. You can have him be like, oh, I got shot. Or you can, oh, no. Oh, what, what, oh, 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 you shot me in my shin. Oh, or, oh, you shot me up here too. Oh, you can do that. Or you can plug it into the barrel. <laughs> I really paint a picture, don't I? But you can also plug it into his gun so you can get some proper pew pewing and bang banging, you know, whatever you want to do there. You can plug it into the bottoms of his feet, give him rocket feet, whatever you want to do. As always, options are good. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with Sky Tread. Here he is with his wave mate, Brunt. Here he is with Screamer. Here he is with Soundwave. Here he is with Megs. And here he is with Leader Shockwave. And last but not least, here he is with the Fans Toys Reflector. So, there you go. Now, as you saw on the back of the box, Refractor here can pull off the camera mode, but the catch here is you have to buy three of this guy, and, um, yeah, I, I got three of this guy. So, we can do the camera mode. Now, if you want these guys to actually look like the legit team, because only the center guy had the little, uh, belly button part there. You can actually just remove this and you can store it back here like that. And now you can have them looking all proper like. There you go. There you have the proper reflector team.
Now, the instructions don't show you how to do the camera mode, you know, because why would they? That would just make all the sense in the world and be nice, but no, it's not in the instructions. You do pretty much have to figure it out on your own, and I think I got it figured out. So, to get these guys into camera mode, of course, we need to remove the gun. We need to remove uh, the lens part here. And what we need to do is turn the head around, flip it down. You want to flip in the hands, flip in the hands, and then you want to bring the arms back. And you're going to rotate the arm with the bicep and just take the arm and fold it up like so. And fold it up like so. Just get up there on that double hinge like that. Then you want to rotate him at the waist and then you want to rotate the legs around at the thigh like that, and then you want to just flip out the uh, landing skids here. And you're going to bring the leg up and the forearm and everything will just go right into this opening here and collapse up like that. And just bring the other side up and collapse that up. Like so, and now you can tab all of this together, just get all nice and squozen. And they can just take these and just bring these down to flush and there you go you got them transformed into a little box here and we're going to do the same thing with these two shazam all right so we have these three folded up in the two little boxes so what we do now is just turn these two around and you got post and port post and port and you just connect them like so you also have some little nubs that will plug in right up there so you just Plug it in, again, get it all nice and squozen. Do the same thing on the other side. Plug that in, get it all nice and squozen. And you got that going on. So now we bring in the shield parts here and these will connect together. You got some little hook tabs and that will just combine to make the lens there. A little transparent plastic in there and that will connect right in here there are two two little slots right here on either side and you just line that up and that just plugs in boop right there like so and you want to take uh one of these pieces you can use either one and you want to plug this underneath right here like so and that has a purpose and that is for the guns because now the guns will combine to make a tripod and you just connect them via the tabs and the slots and you just get them all together like so and there you have your murderous tripod and you have these three tabs right here you got the slots right here and you just get that all lined up and just get that wiggled in there and that becomes your tripod. And there you go. There you have the camera mode. And this is pretty much it per the picture on the box. But there is there is a little more that you can do with this. If you want, you can take uh, this piece here. You can plug it up top like that. You know, that can kind of, you know, serve as, the, uh, serve as the button. You know, you can do that if you want to. Or... You can have uh, this guy's head flipped up and <laughs> that can kind of serve as the button. So, you know, I mean, Granny's going to be looking at you, but, you know, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. As far as uh, having, you know, a flash on it, um, you can always, you know, open this up and flip that out and have that kind of sticking up the back there. And that can kind of serve as a flash if you want. Or you can just take his toes and bring those up and that silver right there can also serve as a flash so you know hey things you can do if you want to do it as always your toy display it however you wish and for comparison here it is with the fans toys reflector in its camera mode as you can see how that works out so there you go so there you have Refractor. Um, it's a cool figure. Uh, the spaceship mode is, eh, 
you know, it is what it is. I appreciate that they at least tried to give him a more practical alt mode than just kind of, hey, he turns into a box. But I think Soundwave and Shockwave pull off their new spaceship modes a bit better than Refractor here does. Um, it's cool that he can still pull off the camera mode. Of course, you'll have to buy two more of these guys to be able to do that, but still a nice feature nonetheless. Nice little bonus. So all in all, I am quite pleased with this little guy. Little guys trio. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Siege toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Siege playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Siege Deluxe Class Refractor. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Ah, Reflector, you're here! This is perfect! You want us to do recon at the Autobot base, uh... No, I'm gonna throw you at Prime! And see how he likes it! But, sir, what if we're damaged or killed in the process? Well, hey, I got three chances. I'm bound to get it right eventually. I don't think this is a very good idea. I think we're going to go, sir. I, I think we're gonna go. Hey, come on! You get back here! You get back here! Swarm! Swarm! Ah! Okay, this, this is not funny. You are just prolonging the inevitable! Ah! No! Oh. You missed again, Prime. Sorry. Must be having an off day. <laughs>